YouTube, I wanted to do a brush review today that I got off of Amazon and I'm going to put the link right up here um, and also in the comment box on where you can buy it. It was a premium Kabuki brush set. It came with 10 brushes total, 5 different large brushes and 5 different small brushes. They're not labeled, but I'll show them to you so you can do make your own judgment. Um, it cost me $10.99. Um, I ordered it because it had outstanding reviews and it was a bestseller in the makeup and brush setting. The only negatives that seemed to be consistent were when you opened it up, the smell, which goes completely away as soon as you wash it. And I'll show you what I use to wash it. Um, it's actually a dupe that a lot of people put, have done online. Like at Sephora, the Beauty Blender Solid uh, Cleansing Soap is $15.95. And the dupe I'm using now is $3.25 for three bars of four ounces each. So that's 12 ounces at a much better price than the one ounce product. I believe it's one ounce product. Let me make sure. Yes, one ounce product uh, that you can find at Sephora. So I'll go ahead and show that now. I use um, Castile. Soap, Kirk's Original. I used to use the Dr. Brommer's um, liquid to wash my brushes. It's basically the same soap. One's in solid form and one's in liquid form. And I never thought to use the solid until I actually saw it as a dupe. And a lot of people are buying the Dr. Brommer's soap, which is about $4 for one bar. Uh, this brand is the exact same thing. Castile soap is Castile soap. They all manufacture it basically the same. They can't make the claim unless it's all natural products. And uh, I found this at Dollar General for $3.25 for a three bar pack. So I'm getting three times the product for less price in either, either one that you would use in the bar form is vastly cheaper than the dupe. And it washes just as well. I've seen dupe video after dupe video. I've never used the expensive stuff, honestly, I'm, I'm throwing that out there, but I never felt I needed to because using the Castile soap, whether in liquid or solid form, has worked wonderfully for me. So that, that aside, I wanted to go out there and explain how I do it. I just buy a little soap dish and I keep it in there and I wet the bar soap and just like you would do with the, um, the, the expensive high-end stuff. This is a great way to say, like I said, I picked it up at Dollar General and I understand you can pick it up at Walmart. And I just got this at Dollar General this week for $3.25 because I was using the, the liquid. And I use the liquid in my house everywhere for all kind of things. Carpet cleaning, you name it. it. It's just great stuff and really good to have around when you have kids and pets. Okay, first off, this is one of the brushes. And I'm also going to insert, <laughs> I'm really bad at moving this. I'm going to insert a picture in right now. And then you can see the whole brush set at once. This is one of the brushes. It's the Stippler. I'm probably butchering that name. But it's really good. I've used it to put on uh, my makeup. I do have a Real te Techniques uh, sponge, the Miracle whatever sponge that I use. And I love it. But I wanted to try, you know, putting my cosmetics on with this. Because I do have the Celebration Foundation from IT Cosmetics. And I got their brush. And I spent... I want to say it was $24 at Ulta. It was definitely over $20 for this one brush. And one of the brushes in this kit, I mean, now, remember, I've used this one. It's a little bit fatter. But one of the brushes is, like, definitely a dupe for this. And it's like, you, you probably can tell this is the high end and this is the low end. But they feel the same, almost identical. This one's. A, got a little bit longer bristle, but this one's more close together. So, um, but soft wise, it's really, really soft. Um, so really, really quality brush for what is it like, you know, next to nothing <laughs> compared in cost, considering I got 10 brushes for $10 and 99 cents. And I got just one brush for over 20 bucks. The, I will tell you the two bad things it said was the smell. And like I said, just wash your brushes and that's not a big deal. It's gone. 
and then they said some of the time the glue in here is not high quality and it'll come apart in, in here. In fact, there is an Amazon person that walks you through the process of putting hot glue in it at the beginning and, and being done with it. I'm not going to bother doing that. I figure if one of them, two, one or two of them fall apart, I'll try to put the hot glue in it then at that time and reset it. If it doesn't work out, I'll just toss it. I really haven't lost anything for the amount of brushes I'm getting. I don't think I'm going to use them all, to be quite honest. So here's the one that's closest to the Ultima brush that I would use for my Celebration Foundation. Here is the other one for more liquid application. Um, and if you know what these brushes are used for, please tell me because they didn't come with the label. This looks like it would be, um, I don't know, but see how it's kind of like tapered? It looks like it would get more fine precision work, maybe, maybe like here, putting on, I don't know, I don't know. But I, I'm going to try this. This is a slanted one, and I definitely could use this for a contouring brush, and it's nice and thick and soft. And I have a more, I, it, this one's slanted, but more more rounded in the slant. So I figured this would make a great um, blush brush. And the other one would be more contouring or vice versa. I'll see what how I like it and for what. Um, several of these are eye brushes in different shapes. They're all soft and thick and well made. I think I'm going to like this one a lot, the way you feel it and the way it's shaped. I think it's really going to help when I put on my eye makeup. That, that's the part I'm really excited about, the different brushes. And they're all different. Some of the reviews on Amazon complained that they got all the same brush. And no, I didn't. I got 10 completely different brushes, five little, five larger, and different shapes. And I'm, I'm excited because I've had, I have brushes. I have, you know, several of the real te technique brushes that I love. None of the big, none of the big ones. I, I did splurge on this one. I usually don't buy that expensive of a brush, but I, it was recommended with the Celebration Foundation, so I wanted to give it, you know, exactly what it was recommended for. But I figured with all these different shapes, I'm really going to get to play around and really experiment and see what I like the best, excuse me, I like the best for putting on my makeup and I'm not going to have to pay a fortune. So if you're needing a starter set, I highly recommend you get that for $10.99. Be a great introduction to brushes. They're really good. And then from there, you may decide to buy more, you know, like Real Techniques has got some really nice brushes out there. And, you know, you may want to upgrade a brush at a time or you may say, hey, this works just like the other stuff. I'll probably post an update to this video after I've used them for a while to give you a more in-depth review, but I'm really excited to try these. So thanks for watching, YouTube. Bye!